Hello, I wanted to show you how to uh, download and open this up properly. First, we're going to show this on a Mac. And basically, I'm keeping this in my Google Drive. You should have the ability to download this file. So basically, it should give you the option to download it. When you download it, make sure you keep track of where this zip file is going. I've set up an example folder inside my documents and I will save it there. And it's a very small file, so it, it downloads pretty quickly. So then you go to your file folder, your uh, directory, whatever you want to call it. And here it is, Jonathan Pritchard documents example folder. And inside is the habit tracker 2024. On Mac, all I have to do is double click it and it unzips. And now we've got this folder with void templates and journal. There's also a hidden file in here that Obsidian can see. So it's not only these three. There's a fourth hidden one that lets Obsidian know that this is an Obsidian vault. So we'll go back and now we go to Obsidian and this is my usual YouTube demo vault. And we go down here in the left corner that says open another vault, click that, and then open folder as vault. This middle option is what we're looking for. So you click open, go to where you downloaded the zip and uncompressed the folder, select that folder and hit open. That's when it says, hey, uh, there are some plugins here and I don't, I don't know, man, do you want to in install this? You go, absolutely. Trust author and enable plugins. And voila, it takes you to the plugins view. And you can see that here is the journal with the days, the example days. Um, you can see the calendar over here of them selected. Today's the 20th. So if I created the 20th, voila, you wouldn't see the 20th because the one I downloaded didn't have uh, the December 20th file in it so you'll be able to add your own and, and do that kind of stuff and follow along from there but you can see it's here in the sidebar and everything else so that's how to download unzip and open the vault in obsidian so that you can uh, get to work now let's hop over to my windows machine and we'll go through that same process there and here we are on my, my Windows machine, and we're back to the Google Drive where you should be able to download and keep track of where you want to download it because you'll need to find it again. Here I've got in my documents an example folder, so that way I will be able to find it again. And there it downloads, and then we switch over to the file directory and you can see there is the zip folder right where I downloaded it. And then on Windows, my favorite unzipper is 7-zip. You can also open with and WinArchiver might already be installed or WinRAR. A couple of those are good options, but I prefer 7-zip and it's option here, extract here. It'll just drop it in. You can see that there's a Mac OS X option. You can ignore that. You can delete that. If you are only on Windows, you're not going to be using it on Mac. So you can ignore that. And here is the file folder. And here you can see that it's invisible. Uh, I turned it visible because I like seeing invisible stuff on, on my Windows machine for some reason. But there's the dot obsidian folder that's usually hidden that obsidian knows to look for. And then here are the three folders that we created during the walkthrough. So there's that. And then we go over to obsidian. Here's my usual YouTube demo vault and then open another vault. And that popped up over on my other screen. So here are the options open folder as vault click open and then you can see that in the example folder here's habit tracker 2024 select the folder you don't have to go into the folder 
just select it here, select folder, and then you get the same, hey, do you trust the author of this vault? And you say, yep, trust author and enable plugins. And it drops you into the plugin view. And now you are into the vault just the way that you saw it built in the video. And voila. And now you should be able to go to the templates and change that and go into weekly and change that however you want. And that's how to download, unzip, and install the vault on Mac and Windows both. If you have any other questions, let me know, but hopefully this will get you taken care of.